Well, before I could walk, I had a wrench in my hand. I was my mama's little angel, my daddy's second chance. He went end over end. The first year he went pro and he lost part of his eyesight, so he couldn't race no more. But he never lost his touch when he got under a hood. He knew how to make him run. And he knew one day he would see his name in victory lane. And engraved on that cup, just like all them other crazy fools was racing in their blood. He put me on his lap when he'd drive and I'd take the wheel. He said, what do you think about that, son? How does she feel? You just waited them little legs get long enough to reach the gas. Once you put her on the floor one time, there ain't no turning back. Every Saturday, he'd take me out to the garage. He take an empty bucket and fill it full of engine parts. Set me down and pour them out in front of me on the floor. I'd have to tell him what each one was, what each one was for. Then we'd jump in his old car and go down to the race that night. He'd tell me what each driver was doing wrong, what each one did right. He could always pick the winner before they ever took a curve. Number three might have the car, but 43 has got the nerve. But before I turned 18, Daddy said, now pretty soon you'll be old enough to race, but I'm going to leave it up to you. I taught you all about it, taught you everything I know. You got to have a car to do it. You got to work and buy your own. One that I bought was a Mustang number two. Nobody kept them any longer. They kept a pair of shoes. It started showing up at every used car lot in town. A V8 on a go-kart, easy turns, no money down. Me and Daddy and my uncle, we took her home and we tore her down. We checked her out real good and cleaned her up and bored her out. We took out all the seats, pulled the carpet off the floor. We knocked out all the glass and we welded up the doors. The first time I had to race my qualifying was a shame. I started out way in the back and came back about the same. Pulled her in the pit and could look my daddy in the eye. He said, if you quit now, son, it's gonna haunt you all your life. You see, it ain't about the money or even being number one. You gotta know when it's all over, you did the best you could have done. Knowing that it's in you and you never let it out. It's worse than blowing any engine or any wreck you'll ever have. Since then, I wrecked a bunch of cars, I broke a bunch of bones. It's anybody's race out there, and I've learned to run my own. I'd shove them in the wall, and I'd hit them from behind. I'd let them know that I was there. I'd let them know that track was mine. It's been several years since my dad has passed away, but his picture's on my dash every time I go to race. I've lost more than I won, but I ain't gonna give up till they put me in the ground or daddy's name is on that cup. <laughs> 